your Vusilela B Media Awards adventure begins right here. Three easy steps to take you from zero to hero. Step one, watch the weekly update video clip from your cell phone on Boza or every week on your community TV station to learn how you, yes you, can become a cell phone CJ. Step two, make a two minute citizen journalism clip on your cell phone. And step three, enter Vusilela Be Yourself. And you could stand a chance of being the host of a TV show for a day and a fully paid bursary to Boston Media House and great weekly prizes. This, this is, is Be A Cell Phone CJ, CJ with Gino and Nandi. Hey guys. Nandi, what's up? Well, I took all my shots right, but there's just something I'm not getting. Mm, what is it? My shots either look way too dark or so light that I actually can't see anything. Well, I cheat a little bit. You see, I've got some friends who showed me some tips about lighting. Well, that's really not fair, you know. Well, it's a good thing we're looking at lighting in this episode, how to get the best shot in the best possible lighting. Thank goodness. So, viewers, today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about lighting. Lighting is extremely important when you're shooting and like it literally can affect your whole shoot. If you've got bad lighting, it's going to come out really bad. Some of the key things when you shoot is um, obviously don't have any backlights. Um, that's when like say you're standing in a room and there's a window behind you. Like don't stand and be filmed like that. So say if there was a window behind me because it's going to make you like blurred. You're going to get this funny like aura and you're not going to be able to see any of the, your facial expressions. Also like a really good thing when, you, when you're filming in the light is side lighting. So as you can see here, so the sun is here. So a perfect opportunity would be if I took your phone and I filmed you with, with side lighting. So that just the one side of your face is lit up. That's always perfect, perfect lighting. Um, there are always two specific times where you should film with the light and they're called magic hour. So this is sunrise and sunset. So when you shoot in magic hour, you get this kind of like golden glow on your skin, which looks really cool. And then you don't have to stress about it being too harsh on you, like the light's too hectic on your, on your skin. Also, because you are dark in complexion, you shouldn't wear white, otherwise it will sort of wash you out and we won't see all the expression on your face. But if I was shooting now, then I would do you with side lighting, which I am actually gonna make you practice. Um, you can do it on me if you want. Um, so you can film me now with side lighting. Is that not too harsh when I'm straight on, you see? Then I go like too white. Mm, yeah. So you see how side lighting is a little bit better. Yeah. So the way I'm going to be showing you using our camera the different sides of lighting and how the sun, where based on your position, is going to affect how your shot comes out. Obviously right now is what I was explaining to you, where the sun is on my right, even though it's moving a little bit there, and it's half lighting. So this is what you're always aiming for, where you just half on your face and it's not straight there and it just gives like a golden glow kind of to the rest of your face. Then we move here where the sun is completely on my right and it's just my profile. And now we're kind of getting to the back of where I am. And this is where I will be silhouetted because the sun is in front of me and the camera is behind me. And then when it comes around here, it's obviously full light because I'm looking straight at the sun. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm going to be quite overexposed because it's my whole face facing the sun. But you should always aim for, for hard lighting. Guys, so this is golden hour. Now what golden hour is, is the time in the morning between 6 and 8 or in the afternoon between 4 and 7 where the sun is not directly above you and it isn't too harsh or too bright. Okay, so golden hour happens more than once, right? Yes, it's the time in the morning between like 6 and 8 and also late afternoon between 4 and 7. Basically, it's when the sun is not too bright or too harsh. And side light is the best light. Sure, preferably I like it when you can see someone's face, but you can use different lights for different things. So my problem was too much light. Maybe, but it could also be exposure. I don't know what that means. Let's check it out. So Kirsten, we're going to do a practical exercise now. And now if we start shooting, you'll see that the light is very bright. So let's start shooting now and then move into a shadow and we'll look at how the exposure of the image actually changes. How about you shoot me and I'll walk into the shadow. 